Hi guys, I figured out it was time for me to make another uh, cigarette review. I've been busy lately, uh, the last two weeks with a lot of things, so didn't have time to record. And when I had time to record, it was either night and uh, or uh, I was too tired to do it. So for this review, I'm going to take my best British accent. Just give me a second. Today's review is going to be on a very very classic cigarette, a very vintage one. It's one of the oldest brands introduced in 1894 and it's still manufactured. Capson Full Strength WD and H O Wills, which was the, the the manufacturer at the beginning before, you know, now they're made by Imperial Tobacco actually, because WD and H O Wills is part of the of um Imperial Tobacco. Simply they were part of Galahad and then became part of Imperial Tobacco. These are the full strength. Back in the days, they made also the medium strength because these were one of the strongest cigarettes ever made and ever sold in Britain. In 1973, there was a, a report um, done by the government, the UK government. It was the start of the anti smoking campaigns and stuff like that. And these came on the top of the list for tar and nicotine yields. They were 38 milligrams of tar, yes, 38 milligrams of tar, 3.2 milligrams of nicotine, and then decreased, uh, you know, uh, years after years, but back in the day, until the 1970s, 3.2 milligrams of nicotine. The second one was a, a brand called Passing Cloud, with a wide gauge uh, cigarette, Virginia cigarettes, and uh, those had 34 milligrams of tar and 2.1 milligrams of nicotine, so those were 50% had 50, yielded 50% more nicotine than the, the, the next brand. So they were right in the eye of the anti smoking campaigners, stuff like that, because you know, they used to be full strength, and that's what it, it really means. So, first, take a look at the pack, very vintage looking. Uh, no brand could ever be introduced today with that kind of, of pack. It's a sliding, sliding type of packet, you can see. There are two compartments into the box. Sorry, because you know the image is reversed and it's like looking down to a mirror. Uh, you have two separate compartments, and uh, they are one like the Dunhill, exactly like that. So you have uh, ten cigarettes wrapped in foil, and then ten cigarettes wrapped in foil on the other hand. And it comes also with a cellophane wrapper around the, the packet. But you know, to open it, you get to get rid of it. So, yeah, nice packet. Capstan Full Strength, this is you know, the lid, the top. Uh, Capstan Full Strength, a lot of tobacco is falling. You know, I, got, I owe these to Arjit Smoker. Uh, thanks again, you know, for the pack swap. And, uh, you know, this is the bottom. Capstan Full Strength, serial number here. Uh, yeah, it's already reduced um, nicotine and tar uh, yields. 10 milligrams tar, 0.9 milligrams nicotine, 7 milligrams carbon monoxide, so pretty standard for uh, full strength cigarettes in Europe now. On the, on the lid here, it says, made of fine Virginia tobacco. Uh, that sounds great, it sounds vintage. Just looking at the packet, you know, orange, black, gold, capstan. Uh, nothing is embossed on the packet, everything is like, smooth, but, you know. Uh, of course, you get those warnings here. Well, quit smoking, fuck you. Uh, fine Virginia Tobacco, WD and H O Wills, which were part of the, which are now part of uh, Imperial Tobacco's portfolio. Quality, we have produced these cigarettes to the highest standards of quality. If you're not completely satisfied, please return the packet and its content to WD and H O Wills PO Box 83 Nottingham NG 75 PO. Ooh! Man, okay. I um, think I'm fully satisfied. These now they cost nine pounds ninety. They're among the most expensive cigarettes. <sighs> yeah, stupid, stupid, ridiculous British taxes on tobacco. So still in for the next part. Capstan twenty. Capstan. Never go without a capstan. That was the advertisement back in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. No, probably not, like you do on most, most videos, uh, trying to do it. You might guess here, there's a little stuff written on here. 
um, um, you know, horizontal uh, side. You know, most brands have like you know, the branding here, like Marlboro, on this side. But here it's on the cigarettes, which is very vintage uh, look to them. It says caps and navy cut on one side, on a you know one line, and then full in the middle, and then in a handwritten uh, type of writing, cursive writings. W D N H O Wills, first manufacturer. I might have said that already. So, 70 millimeters long or 69 maybe. You know, not not any getting dicked by millimeters. So now. Um, well, kind of a medium tone of tobacco. It's, yeah, you know, it's made, they say it's made of pure Virginia tobacco, unblended. This is the, the British taste. The English taste, actually, it's known as English taste in most other countries. It smells nice, smells of, um, it smells a little like raisin. Uh, a little like the camel cigarettes, not, not as pronounced. Camel cigarettes, to me, they always smell like brown sugar. These smells really like Virginia tobacco smells like raisin, like dried grapes. That's what it is. That's what it smells like. Let's get fire. Paper sticking to the lips a little bit, but that with those um, porous paper they use now. I'm going to explain that in a video, how they, how they re did reduce uh, the tar and nicotine content of unfiltered cigarettes because it's less obvious than with filtered cigarettes. You know, with filtered cigarettes, you know, take those cigarettes, put a filter at the end, and you're going to cut the the tar and nicotine yields by almost half. At least the very first, um, you know, first full strength uh, filtered cigarettes would like not really half the tar, but maybe two thirds of the tar and nicotine yields of the other one. Well, yes. Uh, very porous paper, cigarette smoldering on it, on its whole length, especially here. You know, not just coming out of, of the of the tip, but uh, on its whole length. Very porous paper. It's in fact the paper does the trick. It's micro perforated, micro perforated, laser perforated, and that's you know it's uh, you suck more air every time you take a drop. It's like exactly like watering down your beer your spirit, whatever you have to drink, watering down your water. Yes, now. You know, to make my water better, put just a drop of whiskey in it, it's better. Anyway, smells, oh, tastes nice actually. They don't have a huge body like those, um, for example, the, the American cigarettes, the American unfiltered cigarettes are still, you know, the Camel, for example, they yield uh, 23 milligrams of nicotine and 1.7 milligrams, uh, 23 milligrams of tar and 1.7 milligrams of nicotine in the last report of 2000, 2007. So what they were measured, machine measurement again, it's not what you're actually taking it, nobody knows it. Because you know, no no individual smokes exactly like the other one. So those are just standard methods to measure the tar and nicotine. So I'm gonna explain that in the video. They burn rather fast. They burn rather fast. Um, um, the only cigarette, unfiltered cigarette that I know burns faster than these are the Woodbine cigarettes. Also in all the classics since 1888. Uh, still I have a packet and have to make a review. Now they taste good. They taste, again, pure Virginia tobacco. This is really, if you want to know what uh, Virginia tobacco, uh, what, when they say it's a, what, what happens? When it, they say it's a pure Virginia tobacco taste, pretty much like that. Uh, like a golden Virginia, for example, even though it's blended with a little burly in oriental tobacco. Um, this is easy. this is nice. The tobacco in them feels a little dry, so I suspect uh, that they don't have any additives. 
Other brands on um, Imperial Tobacco is listed with their ingredients. You know, you can check and uh, um, see what ingredients they put um, in the tobacco blend. And uh, these, strangely, they do not appear on the list of Imperial Tobacco. Don't know why, maybe they forgot that. Oh, still, we still manufacture that old brand. Remember, Capstone Full Strength? Nobody smokes them. You know, £9.90. Who would, pay, who would pay £9.90 for a packet of cigarettes? Well, RJ Smoker did for me. I'm glad he did. These are nice. They're nice. They're not as strong as he used to be, obviously. Uh, it's less strong than a rolly of the, the same with the same we weight of tobacco. Um, but these, you know, they're rather nice. I mean, I smoke them first in the morning and they still pack a punch. Maybe we're used to uh, smaller nicotine amounts that they were used back in the days, but uh, they still pack a punch. I mean, really comparable to any full strength cigarette in Europe. Capstan, since 1894, that's a long way, I mean. Is it worth paying £9.90 for them? No. It sucks to have to pay for that, but do yourself a favor and try them once in your life. You know, trying not to burn my fingers. Okay. Now, <laughs> Phil is going to be a little short review, but anyway, it's good. Capstan Navy Cut Full Strength. Ah, very nice, very nice. A lot of history behind this brand. Uh, those were the cigarettes of your world. A lot of people smoke these uh, in First World War time and Second World War. These were very popular. Uh, maybe Woodbine and were more popular than these, but you know they're still good. Don't expect any ASCII King cigarette like Cretec or um, American unfiltered cigarette, but in Britain they're among the best. Honestly, I don't quite have a taste for players. Uh, navy cut, medium navy cut, they still call them medium navy cut, but light navy cut. Um, still, it's still a mystery why they call it navy cut, because that's that could be an accurate term for pipe tobacco, actually, because that was the way that pipe tobacco was prepared for long, long, uh, long travels with the ships and stuff like that. So actually, the tobacco leaves were rolled in a kind of big cigar. Not quite, but they were rolled, they were compressed, and then they were sliced. You know, they slide like bits like um, like salami, stuff, stuff like that. Capsule Navy Cut, really good. Uh, the price lets it a bit down, lets it down a bit. Um, tobacco's a little bit dry, and it's not an old pack. It could be, could be, but they still taste fresh. Really, I, I hesitate, you know, 8 or 9 out of 10, don't know, 8 and a half, gonna cut the, gonna cut it in half, make a good compromise, and uh, yeah, 8 and a half out of 10, 9 pounds 90, expensive, but I think it is worth at least trying them, smoking them on a regular basis if you don't earn uh, 3,000 pounds a, a month. It's gonna be quite hard, but uh, once in a while, I think it's it's a good a good thing to pick up. That was it for my review. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, hopefully. Um, don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment. And Apple will take you to Doctor Wee as long as you're doing well. Thanks for watching.